Hey guys, and welcome back to another sketch with me. So hopefully this will turn out. I've been fiddling with the white balance and stuff, so I'm not too sure on how well this is going to look. Um, but today we're going to do another spread, hopefully in the sketchbook. Um, I don't have anything particularly planned for the sketchbook. I haven't been drawing in it too much lately. Um, but... I'm going to take a few of you guys' suggestions from my last community post where a lot of you guys asked if I could do either more Crayola Super Tip videos with my sketchbook or to do pencil crayons. I think two people asked if I could do pencil crayons and luckily um, I do enjoy using pencil crayons. I, so I'm going to do something along the lines of this I think. I want to do some concept planning for the most part um but yeah i have a few doodles here um i know one thing a lot of people were talking about in my last sketch with me is that you guys couldn't see my sketch prior to before i started coloring and inking and the reason is because i usually draw very light but also the color i was using was i think either a pink or the photo blue and it's too hard to see when the contrast first is up and then in a bright room it's hard to see so i'm gonna sketch maybe either in purple or in normal graphite so you guys can see even though like typically it's not my usual um, way how i sketch but i've done graphite with pencil before and it's nothing new to me so yeah i'm quite familiar how to use pencil crowns so i'm gonna go over the materials really quick let's see don't need that today. If you're using mechanical pencil, might need this today. Or we might use dark purple. So purple might show up better on camera. I think dark blue might show up as well. Today I'm also going to be using my Prismacolor um, Premier pencils. This is just a few of them. But here are the most commonly used ones I use and I put them all into here. And I might be using these today as well, which is the usual Crayola Super Tips, just because it's an easy, fast way to add color. And depending on how I feel, we might do line work with the liquid points. Let's do a quick test in this corner. Um, I'm just going to let these dry for a little bit. I'm just going to write test. And once these dry, I will try putting pencil crayon on top. So initially I wanted to do Wonu in a bunch of different concepts based on Seventeen lyrics. So Seventeen is the K-pop group that Wonu is from. But I'm going to first draw Joshua because uh, there's a painting I would like to do like as a gift for a friend and I would like to digitally paint it um, but let's see if I can think of a pose because I also have to draw Woozy today as well because his birthday if this video goes well his birthday would have been yesterday technically I think of how I want him to sit Why is there so much noise today? Okay, so this is gonna be a really weird looking pose. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep these rough. Thinking of what clothes she likes Joshua in. I think she likes him in like fluffy clothes to be honest, like soft fluffy clothes. I think me and her have like similar tastes, but our biases are different. <laughs> okay, let's start off with this. 
I'm gonna do the skin first. So I'm actually gonna take my kneaded eraser, which it looks like I don't have. Oh no, here it is. Okay, so this is a kneaded eraser. I'm just gonna lighten up the sketch near his face a little bit. And a little bit where his shirt is. I'm just gonna lighten it up a little bit just because the purple is a little bit too strong. I hope you guys can see the sketch. Let's see, I use this one. Use this. I don't remember if I used this for skin. There's like a lot of these colors I definitely do use. So I found one of them. I don't know where the other ones are, which is a little bit annoying because that's mean I'm gonna have to switch back and forth. Ooh, this is because it's the bad one. Okay. I have a container that I'm gonna put the eraser shavings and pencil shavings into just to keep my desk a little bit clean let's start with the skin so for the skin i really like adding just one pale color to it all first these guys over here so I like to add the skin first and then I can build up color afterwards because the Crayola markers are very vibrant but also like more definitely on the darker side of darker side of the values and I don't want him turning out too saturated in the skin as well as like everywhere else if it's not needed. So this is like my generic way of shading in skin. I'm fairly proficient in using pencil crayon when it comes to coloring skin. Um, not anything else I don't think. I actually might have a picture or an illustration next to me of a realism one. Just one sec. So I can make more sense of myself. Because uh, I don't think I've taken him out of this yet. Yep, here he is. Okay. So here is Nuis's Minhyun. So this is done with the Prismacolor um, primers. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this all exposed. But yeah, he looks he looks really nice on camera. <laughs> His skin's like glowing. He's definitely a little bit more texture like up close. You guys can see a bit of the texture of the paper coming through. But I actually really like this one. I'm going to make sure to scan it before I send it off to my friends. Um, hopefully she'll like this. I hope she does. Um, but yeah, um, I've done pencil crayon since high school, so I've always done a lot of pencil crayon work. Um, mostly like realism stuff. I haven't really done as much with um, like stylized stuff, which is why I feel like I'm struggling a bit more when it comes to doing chibis and stuff. That's fine. I shouldn't really be touching this anymore. But yeah, I should probably also spray this. There's a bit of like wax blooming and stuff. Looks but like on tan paper, it's really fun to do like pencil crayon work because like the vibrancy of the pencil crayons from Prismacolor is just really nice. I really enjoy it anyways. But yeah. Uh, that's why like even on here, oops, it's not exposed too much. Um, I've done like my semi-realism. And then I've done, I love drawing eyes and like the skin around the eyes, like where it's like pink and red and it's just like, it's fun to do, um, especially if you're using like colors you're not really familiar with. So this has a lot of blues, greens, and like yellow tones, but then obviously this is my usual palette that I usually use is like browns and oranges and a little bit of purple. It's very fun to do pencil crown. I'm going to grab a darker color. I'm not sure... Actually, let's do a test quickly. Ooh, weird. 
So the pencil doesn't smudge it, but it does kind of leave, like it sits in the middle of where the pen stays. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I'll take a photo and put it on screen so you guys can see what that looks like. But yeah, let's just test out colors. I'm going to use this for the skin, I think. Oh, okay. Now usually I like using more of a orangey brown tone or more of a red, but today we're going to use purple. Just because it is a deeper color. I think it looks nice. So similar like to how I use my markers, I do the line work afterwards. But I also add tones like consistently as I'm working just to build up color and stuff um, that's more appropriate to the line work. So you can see the line work so dark I can definitely pull out more of the pinks. Make it a little bit darker. So I color too closely to his eye. So you can use definitely use a harder eraser and just kind of pick up the the color. Because we're working quite light, it doesn't really affect it too much. I'm going to use the purple to do the shading for the uh, like the whites of the eyes. I'm going to do a quick test using this on top of the pencil crayon. As you can see, it's not going on top because of that waxy surface. So it's definitely not going to dry at all. Probably can just do this. Yeah. So that's why I don't use pens on top of pencil crayons, but if you use pencil crayons under or like on top of your uh, lining tool, so be it pigment liner or a um, fine liner or any sorts of that, just be careful that you might need to go over your line work again because sometimes the wax buildup or like the color pigment is super like creamy and pigmented that it covers up your lines as well. So you can definitely clean that up or even like after you color it in, take a black um, pencil crown and go over your lines. It will sit on top of the um, line work and it'll be less of a hassle for waiting things to dry. I'm spending so much time just doing this one. I should move on though. So I'm gonna do the rest in light colors. Well, as light as I can get. And then do the line work and pencil crown again. I'm just gonna give him his eyelid. Quickly do his cheeks. And then we can add details on top. Okay, so I'm gonna add one more layer actually, just to quickly darken this up. I'm going to add pinks to his clothing. Uh, let's give him... Actually, I'm going to do this. because I need to see what color matches nicely. I don't mind that, to be honest. And I don't think I'm going to get a lighter color. It kind of matches his eyes a bit. Let's just do it. I'm gonna give him white shoes. I'm gonna quickly texture the ground. I don't know. Will this be okay? Probably not. Oh well, it's too late. Um, This is definitely more of a orangey red rather than like a pink. 
That's okay. So let's grab some browns so you can shade in his hair. Just really simple, kind of like similar how I did Masaki's. Putting the shadows or like the darkest part right under the highlight really makes it almost look like it's like more shiny, which I really like. I thought someone was home and I'm like, what? <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to do this in the span of two days. I would like to do just like a full session so you guys can get a feel of how long it takes me to do a spread in general. We're at half an hour already, jeez. So this is the concept. <laughs> I would like to digitally paint. I have like the ideas in my brain because I would like to have like, ideally like flowers and stuff in the background. Okay. I think we'll do a little bit of everything today. So maybe I'll just do another warm up sketch because this is just going in like fresh from doing traditional art. <laughs> I've been doing digital like the entire time. So I'm just gonna do a quick sketch. I'm thinking of what I want to sketch though. We can just do a quick Joshua. Oh, I have an idea. I think she would like this. Oh, wait. I have another idea. I know she has like specific pieces of mine that she really likes and they give the same vibe. So I'll definitely think about whether or not I'll do something like this as like a, a watercolor piece for her. Because me and her are doing an art trade. I'm gonna keep this light because I know I'm gonna cover part of the face. Let's see, how do I want to do this? color this. I kind of, hmm. Okay. I was gonna do this with marker and just pen, but let's do this with pencil crayons for the majority of it. I've been listening to 2013 K-pop again. It makes it all nostalgic again. Like around 2009 to 2013. That era K-pop I just love listening to. I don't know what's going on with this hand, so we're gonna have to figure that out when I do um, the line work with the darker purple color.
I really need like a different purple. I don't remember the purple that I was using earlier. It might have been just the ultramarine. And I used the blue instead of a purple. Because this is a little bit too red. A little bit of red to get his cheeks. Usually I'm going to use the blue. I think I used this blue actually. I'm mostly using colors from my tin right here. So the ones I usually use a lot. Because it's just easier to be familiar with certain colors. Um, so you're not like digging around for them. <laughs> I'm actually going to do the skin in this color though, keep it a little consistent. Oh, I drew him very Masaki-like. <laughs> Gonna make his hair a little bit longer. Josh looks really nice in browns as well. And like creams. So I'm gonna maybe do like this. Shouldn't have drawn Josh so Masaki esque. Another concept. Next I want to draw Wanu, so that was a chibi because I like drawing him with different concepts as a chibi. Recently I did one of him being underwater. I would like to do one where he's gaming. <laughs> I think that'll look very cute. Um, I have some general ideas. I don't know if I want to do like a full illustration or if I just want him to be kind of like a floating character kind of thing. We'll see. Hopefully this gives you guys ideas like how to take mediums and use it in a way that might be fun to sketch in. So you guys don't have to always use like pencil or you don't have to always use pen or you always use marker. You guys can like switch it up and change it to however you however you like. I can't talk. <laughs> um, let's sketch one idea first. I see Intel. My Amazon packages here. Ding dong. Or not. A knock. Aggressive knock. Now I've drawn Gamer Wanu before. It's not like a new concept for me. But I feel like gaming was such a giant part of who Wanu was. I find it like important to at least include it at least in an illustration but i feel like i want to do two of them i would like to include his headset i think it'd be cute include a headset mm. okay so i'm just gonna darken this up i'm gonna use yeah let's use this color i have to keep sharpening this So I kind of want to have this pixel kind of theme going on. I've done this with my BNHA um, fan art where I did them with pixels like coming off of them. I think it's like 
After I came back from Japan, I did more just like normal graphite work and then I went into markers. I mean markers, I mean like water-based markers. Just remember a sketchbook should be used for practice, for experimentation. Like don't be tied down on making your sketchbook look nice. I definitely have pages in the sketchbook where I know it doesn't visually look nice, but it was a good like learning um, exercise. But like sometimes you can just treat your sketchbook as like a place where you want to draw the stuff you like and it's not exactly like for anybody else. Sometimes I feel like I spend too long in my sketchbook, but like because I enjoy it, I don't think it really matters. I like doing this. I think it's fun with like different colors you can get because there's the, like a difference between the blues which looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna quickly do the other one. I want to do it like this. I want it to be in a weird like Okay, I'm just gonna move stuff to the side so you can work on this side of the page. Should I do like yellow, like a dark yellow, like almost an orangey yellow, and then maybe use a red, and then we can deepen it with the purple maybe. I can use like sunset colors, how about that? Let's give that a go. I'll choose the colors a little bit after I do the sketch. The initial sketch. Um, so I'm just gonna do a square. So I would like to have it an up view. I'm just gonna do something. I don't do this often because uh, I always had an okay eye for composition, um, luckily. But recently I feel like I need these. So you should put something important here and here. Cause I would like to have the screen around here. So I don't want to get the press listening to the small flower, cause I am. Um, have like cup noodles, his mouse. I guess his mouse would be on this side. His cup noodles would be on this side. I won't give him fluffy hair. I'll give him his like, almost like his no makeup face look which is his hair just like fully down kind of in his face okay um, let's use like a reddish pink i guess we'll use this color maybe let's test these yeah i think that'll be fun and then we can use like a purple this work yeah, let's just do that. I think these three will look really cute together. At this point, I'm just like, I'm having fun, but I'm also trying to figure out of like compositions and stuff I want to do for digital paintings. the red the most, this reddish color, and then let me go back in with the yellow every so often, because yellow doesn't show up too much, and I don't want it to blend too much with what I already have. I'll just color in his cheeks a little bit. Has anyone done like a free color challenge but with pencil crayons? <laughs> I guess this wouldn't really count because I chose the colors but like 
think it would be really fun if someone did that. It's like, wait, if you're like on a mouse, it's like this. So your thumb's on the inside. His keyboard. He literally looks like a little apple. He's so round. Uh, what do I want to do? His eyes? You can barely see it. Mm, maybe I should have picked a different color. I guess, wait. Is it this color? Should we use the primary colors? Is that what we should do? Okay, so I don't know where exactly I left off. This is the next day because uh, we don't really get any privacy in this house. So, like within my family. So every time someone comes home, I have to stop filming. Um, so actually, I brought my Prismacolor Scholars. So I have these. See, it's different. Let me see if I can get a darker color. Like this. And I'm gonna see if these sketch a little bit better because I like I said previously, um, these are a little bit harder than the normal Prismacolor premieres, which make it a little bit easier to sketch with these, I believe. So I'm gonna use these to layer and sketch with. In high school or like university, I guess, when I was doodling um, in my own time and not worrying about portfolios, I would use the Prismacolor Scholars a lot for like doodles and stuff where I would do the line art in mechanical pencil or in ballpoint pen or in fine liners and just slowly color them with these. And like I said, they don't layer the best, but like the outcome still is quite cute. And kind of still looks like an apple. Is that just me? Cause like considering how round he is. I'm just gonna color the background I think in a yellow and then call this one done. is close enough. <laughs> looks so funny. So I'll try to pick a color that you guys can see, but let's pick a different color to start with. Should we do pink? This is like a hot pink. I don't remember seeing this kind of a color. It'll give me a better idea how to use these again. <laughs> Hope you guys can see. So how I draw chibi, start with a circle, think of where we're looking. I'm just gonna make his head tilted. Put the eye line in. And let's make them really happy looking. I'm just gonna draw Wanu. Yeah, I think he's like, Wanu is like my go-to if I don't know who to draw and I'm drawing like random chibis. Cause I have a particular way of drawing him. I think it's like not exactly recognizable unless you follow my work. Okay, let's add a little bit more color and life to him. 
I keep looking for my sharpener. I keep forgetting it's in here. Oh, this is more like a dusty, dusty paint color. But it'll look lighter. Try to do more of a full color illustration on this side, maybe, and we'll use my normal um, set of Prismacolor um, premieres. So I kind of want to draw something specific, <laughs> just because I think I do have the colors for it. It's like something a little bit more neon. There's like Hoshi wearing the bandaid on his nose with like a green, like a neon green sweater. Looks a little bit more derpy than usual because I didn't follow my sketch. Hmm. Maybe I won't use this color. Let's just stick with the two colors. I think I managed to save him. I guess I'll use purple so you guys can see. I guess I'll do my liner usually with this. Mm. It's basically this. He's like a band-aid on his nose and he's wearing like a neon green sweater. Here's a better picture. Cute. Um. I don't think I have a full body of him, so we're gonna have to guess a bit. I mean, I'll just do like a half body. I'll just do like a headshot then, just to keep it simple. Okay, let's leave it like that. I kind of want to do more doodles like this, but let's just give this a go. Do the line art with the Stadler liquid point, and then let's color it with pencil crayons to our best of our abilities. Because I haven't, I feel like I haven't done that in a while where I've colored within line work. That's a terrible band aid. Eh. <laughs> it's ridiculous now. Oh, it's okay. It's a doodle. It's a doodle. No one cares. Please stop freezing.
Ooh, that's a weird ear. Oh well. It's a doodle, it's not important. I'm gonna have to keep telling myself that the entire time. Okay, keep this simple. And then let's color. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, so let's do a doodle over here, I think. What do I wanna draw? Profile? Let's draw a profile of a chibi. It's a lot simpler. Mm. I guess I'm drawing Wano again. <laughs> let's draw. Actually, let's draw him in his dingo outfit. Except for it'll look a little less cute because it's not the red and blue and white colors. But I kind of want to draw curly hair Wano. Uh, let's use this color. So I don't like. I can't name any of these colors for you guys. Um, but let's just use this one, f or let's color with this first. So... Why is this thing cute freezing? I hope that doesn't like butcher the video file. Darken up these. And I haven't drawn 17 like in a while in the sketchbook compared to like my other sketchbook where it was more or less all 17. I've been drawing more either of my OCs or of Fire Emblem stuff. Just because I love character design in terms of like drawing more elaborate outfits. Okay, let's draw or finish Hoshi. So hopefully this is dry because I'm going to regret this if it isn't. Kind of, okay. It does react a little bit weird with the pencil crayons. It's okay. Color. I think this is the same color. I don't know why I'm using it then. Uh, so after I add in that reddish pink color, I go over with a little bit with normal pink color. Help blend it out a little bit. I'm not pressing too hard because I don't want it to have a weird bloom and it'll be hard to layer colors on top. to his lips. Give me a call. OK, 
Okay. Do the whites of his eyes. Put a little shadow. And then we'll take his eyes green. Because I think this is the green I'm going to use. I might have a more neon color. Let me check. It's really bright. I'm going to quickly match it to Hoshi. It's kind of like a mix of both. Um, so let's sharpen this one first. So I'm not worried about doing like full coverage as if I was doing this maybe on tone paper because it's on white I don't mind how light it is I'm gonna add this to his band-aids as well yeah maybe I'll do a few like this I I'm feeling these more than like some of the other doodles. I like these though. These were still very cute. But I think I'll do a few more like this. I'll just pick a few members to draw. Maybe I'll do a few girls. Definitely looks more yellow for you guys. But that's okay. I promise you it's green. Like it is green. <laughs> Maybe I'll add like a blue filter over it a little bit. And his hair is like a whitish yellow color. He's like platinum blonde at the moment. So I'm just going to do it in yellow. And slowly darken a little bit of some areas. I might go in with a little bit of a pinkish purple color to add a little bit of dimension to his hair. And then his suit color is, I think it's supposed to be black. Kind of a gray and black. I'm actually going to do that with this really quick. So it's been a while since I've used this. I only used it when I was in Japan, I think. But look, it doesn't really bleed with this pen as much as I thought it would. I'm gonna quickly add Look how stiff this brush is, that's nice. I fix the liner using this as well. use this more often. I actually really like this. You can look at a close-up of the doodles that I've done. I move stuff out of the way. Okay, yeah, but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!